in fear of losing like my my actual cultural nationality, mm. I like to claim it more. So on like um an application form, mm. I might just say British. Yeah. I say black African or black British. Mm. I say black African. Mm. Just personally, just yes. so that I like. I like, I'd like to, because I like history and stuff, so I like to know that where I'm from. But then again, it might, it doesn't apply to everyone. Why is it this thing that people feel the need that to almost justify themselves? If they haven't been there, then they feel the need to justify to go there to claim that they are. I don't, I, I don't quite understand yeah, that. Yeah, no, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I don't know, all the, it's kind of hard because, like, it's, it's like, um, there's just people that, like, it's just, there's some people that are just, do that are just quite annoying. Like, no, like, they're just like, like, oh, yeah, I rap, uh, so and so, I'm like, really, like, so and so, I'm from, yeah, I love this place, it's my hometown, so and so, back in so and so, they do this, yeah, yeah. they know all about it, but then it's like, you haven't, like, experienced anything, mm. but yet, you're, like, just bombarding me with all of this, like, it's annoying, like, I don't, mm. like, I don't kind of care, like, it's just too much, <laughs> yeah. like, people just, I don't know, it's like, so I think they feel that because, because they, there's no, they don't actually have like a, a birth relation or mm. like they haven't even seen their hometown. They feel like they need to just make, let everyone know that I'm yeah. actually from this place. African-American people, they, I won't say all of them, but a lot of them, they've just kind of like, they're just, they're American now. I like Barack Obama. Like I like the fact that it's, it's changed, like it's, yeah. there's a black president. But it don't really like, really kind of bother me that much. How does he show his heritage? Like, that's the question. Like, how does he show it? Because that does like if you walk on the street, you'll see I don't know Polish people talking in fluent English, but mm. then you just think the regular just white English people. Yeah. Is that? But they're not showing. It's like you don't have a sign, so yeah. I don't know how he would claim like um like I don't, it's weird like it's hard. You can't show your heritage no. unless you want everyone to wear like <laughs> yeah. traditional. Yeah, clothes. exactly. Yeah, yeah. But again, now I'm here. And I think that something is missing. Yeah. Texturing and Italian. I look it back. Yeah, it's, it's my And something. It's my Italian roots. It's in yeah. Italian. Yeah. It's in Italy. But something again in, is somewhere else. And I feel inside me that I have to. I have to find out what is makes me. <laughs> Do you think it's so important to remember your roots, though? To keep, yes. to keep your yes. cult. That yes. part of your culture? Still. Feel a little bit like a stranger in this country. Do you? Yes, a little bit. But that that's because I feel like I haven't had my own country at the moment because mm. I left my own country. Yeah. I came here and I feel still a little bit a little bit like a stranger. Mm. I think because because of the language barrier. Still, I'm still lang learning the language. Yeah. And so with your parents, when they were bringing you up, were they quite, um, did they make sure that, you're, that you remembered your Zimbabwe and roots? And was it quite a major part of your upbringing that it was, it's quite a focus on who you were, that the morals and that sort of side to it? Yeah, they do, but they do try and mix it up with modern culture. Hmm.